Hello, I'm Mark Crossfield. Welcome to The Waggle and today I'm checking out some of the weird and wonderful golf gadgets, training aids, whatever you want to call them, that you all buy to try and help you play some better golf. Let's look at these training aids. The Shaw Set. It's this little kind of shortened golf club with a little ball on the end. It's got a hinge in the middle and an adjustable kind of telescopic bit as well, as well as a training grip on the end. Now there's a few applications of this one. The one I use the most, and I use this with students, and to be honest with you, it works very well, is getting them to get this little end bit right up in their, uh, if I just get the angle set here. So there we go, I've got this end bit here right up in my left armpit. Now for people with downswing issues, it does give a good feeling. Now if I want to try and get the club to feel like it's dropping below my hand path, so if you imagine a real golf club in here and I wanted to try and get the feeling of the club dropping below my hand path on the downswing, um, this does really give you that feeling because I can feel as I pull this handle down, if I am putting this kind of torque into the club, so making that handle, so you imagine the club on the end of this, flat and off on the downswing, I can really feel that turning in my left armpit. I've used this on lessons, I find it's a really good application for people, it helps them really get the feeling of different torques on the downswing. Common downswing, what people call over the top, it's a term I don't particularly like, but club coming this way on the downswing, so over the hand plane, um, you can really feel that as well. So you can feel which kind of torques you're putting on that handle, through that shaft, up in that left armpit with this little ball. I really like this one. Also works quite well for giving people a little bit of feeling of creating some width on the downswing rather than getting everything to pull in. Again, with this ball stuck up in your left elbow. I like the sure set. The other thing I love about it is if you're having a bad day, can just walk, look. Lovely little walking stick just to get me home. So I've come inside for my last teaching aid. We're talking laser putt. Now I really like laser putt. Comes in this little bag, takes your standard, I think AAA batteries, smaller batteries. Um, it's two lasers, one that's gonna align the face and also give a red line aim at the bottom. Comes with a funky little lineup mat as well. This is a teaching aid you can use indoors or outdoors. The laser is strong enough to be able to use in the sun as well as indoors. And it's a great way of homing in your putting stroke. So setting it on the shaft, it's a little bit fiddly. You have to fiddle with it and use your eyes to make sure the lasers are aligned in a way that you want them to be. And then it's a case of literally training your stroke along the lines of the mat it gives you, or you could literally train it to a actual hole if you don't want to use those lines. And it gives you great visual uh, aid of where your putter might be twisting to, where the face is aiming at different points of the stroke, the kind of lines your stroke is taking as well. Uh, like I say, it's a teaching aid you can use indoors and out, it's one you can use at home, it's one you can use off the course or not, which I really like. I think these kind of teaching aids, out of all of them, offer the most kind of use for golfers because it's a real visual um, proof to see if you're hitting the right spots or not. The other thing I really love about the laser putt is when all else fails and your putt is just gone to pot, you can always play a little bit of Spy Kids with the little people in your house. Watch the videos, always watch videos, follow me wherever I go. Love you, Golf Digest. Click the links, the links are down there usually. Oh, way! I love Golf Digest. Can't believe they're letting me have free run on this show. Oops.